Hi everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's going to be me and Trinette, uh, Trinetto versus Bredenberg or Bredenberg and Rustum 102 on the map of Hermit's Land. Now, of course, before we start, please do go on ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification to all notifications so you won't miss an upload or stream from my channel. Let's go do this. New objective. All right, so I'm going to be the green player, and uh, yeah, my partner will be the blue player, and I'm going to be stationed at the bottom, and my partner on the right side, uh, right hand corner of the map. Now, of course, deltas are going to be here. We're going to have to do some fast forwarding because this battle took quite a bit of time. Okay, so that of course we can also, uh, you know, skip the juicy or skip the uh, boring part. Container collection, scouting the uh, yellow player's base, uh, alligators are present, as well as green deers, level 2 vehicle factory, or, or level 2 barracks rather. Now, in regards to that, I will have Avia, and my partner told me that his Vikings are not maxed out, as well as his platforms, but all his Avia or Vertex and Zeus are maxed out. Now, check on the red player's base, uh, pretty much the same things, just that no green deers just alligators now of course for defenses i'll have bunkers rocket towers and two naval or two shipyards right there to produce those vikings now i will have a semi viking and cyclone uh, army composition okay first viking second shipyard being uh upgraded got like uh some uh cyclones right there now my partner has level 3 HQ and are producing a Viking, 4 naval platforms, quite nice, until there was this scout of coyotes. Okay, those coyotes are checking the base of my partner to see how much he has, and of course without any defenses or anything to deny the scouting, he will go over to my base. Now that is absolutely a blunder as both players are not expecting me to go cyclones. Now in regards to that, to save the uh, you know, to save the scout, then I'll have to move my cyclones away. And then of course I will try to attack and march my cyclones towards the yellow player's base. And uh, let's see what he has. Two coyotes right there. Okay. And Ta-da! Okay, so that's that was a very, very bad move. That's why scouting is very important and also very important to deny your enemy the scout that they need. That is because, of course, if they scout you, they will know how to counter what you're going for. Alright, now if that coyote scout did not manage to get into my base, I'll simply be able to wipe out this yellow player without the help of any anti-ear from his base. Okay, dragon flyers are gonna be here, and I'm going to take care of that avia factory. Okay, and there's, there's like tons of alligators also from this yellow player, but of course, since he has grenadiers, uh, he will have less alligators. Meanwhile, Vikings are there. Okay, now I'll have to move over to the red player's base to see what he has because it's already in the 11th minute mark. Okay, let's see. Oh ho. Okay, so he still has HQ3 with Jaguars now. Anti air being built, three Jaguars right there, and I will have to check the number of those alligators. And ooh, as you'd expect, there's like tons of them, especially from the red player, due to the uh, focus of Navy with just three Jaguars. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going HQ4 because I already have a full command point at this point. To expand my command point, and of course, I'll have more at my disposal. Meanwhile, uh, looking at the enemy's uh, army composition, I will have to get into formation. And here goes the clash of navy. Let's see how this plays out. I have a very good formation here, diagonal position. Okay. And uh, there goes. I'm just going to uh, place my units on hold and act as a need bag while the vikings of my partner are actually behind my vikings which are you know because his vikings are weaker than mine okay so i'll be tanking most of the damage while his vikings taking free hits okay there goes and uh, both armies went for alligators here goes the clash mm -hmm. nothing really crazy here it's just that 
man awesome naval engagement right there and absolutely we won that engagement due to better formation of course my partner's vikings are not maxed out but so is mine but i take it that my his vikings are weaker than mine since he told me so okay so yeah there goes and i told him to charge forward after this because we have plenty of vikings that remained after that engagement there goes that one dragonfly right there second dragonfly let's see how many dragonflies does this yellow bear has okay so there it goes gg for that clash right there and we're going to see if we can head into the red player's base but nah we're gonna have to forget it for the time being due to the fact that our army is not in good formation to take siege over the red player space so we're gonna have to get into a good formation yet again so that we can try again later on once another engagement or we manage to win another engagement okay again vikings here from my end and of course we will have to retreat i'll have some cyclones over here of course to defend on land in case the yellow player might attack me now the, the don't here is that if you commit to navy, do not, do not leave your land side or ground side defenseless against any ground attacks. That's very bad. Okay, again, taking good formation. There's like plenty of dragonflies around there. Okay, we have some delta here to help out with the attack or the defense versus those dragonflies. Okay, again... Uh, of course, there's like plenty of dragonflies. I don't want to leave my base unattended. Okay. And again, non-stop uh, Viking production. I'll cease the uh, production of the Cyclones. Alright. Because I need to manage my resources. Okay. So, we have plenty of Vikings around here with a very good formation. Cutting out the edge of the map or taking over our side of the map. Okay, we're gonna have to fast forward again. There's like one annoying dragonfly around there. Okay, those deltas are now going to clean things up. There it goes. Cleaned up that one dragonfly, so minus dragonfly for him. And we have two layers, or almost two layers, of vikings around there. We see again dragonfly and some alligators around there. Okay, this time. Um, th those alligators are actually that one alligator is trying to be annoying and are gonna get dismantled by our Vikings there goes GG okay I think those dragonfly may actually be able to somehow snipe one Viking okay scout onto the red player's base to see what he has he's actually uh, transitioning over to ground army composition meaning there will be less alligators around here due to the presence of only one ship meanwhile those uh, dragonflies are trying to be annoying but there's like seven of those dragonfly. Okay. So yeah, there it goes. We're gonna have to decimate all those alligators by outnumbering them. Okay. And here goes my Vikings. Now I'm going to try and clean up the rest. Those uh, seven dragonflies will not be able to destroy all the Vikings very, very fast. So yeah, we're gonna have to ignore those for a bit. And here goes again my partner tried to somehow ignore the land with no defenses whatsoever. I tried to save it with one viking to, to that, uh, or sending one viking to that narrow entrance, but it was already too late. Okay. So yeah, never ever leave your base unattended. Okay, there goes. Now my army was in a better formation to somehow take siege over this uh, naval platforms, and hence we cleaned it, or actually we cleaned it up very fast. Here goes my cyclones are now going to somehow engage those dragonflies due to I actually outnumber those dragonflies and there's no presence of alligator to zone out my cyclones. And again, I'm going to lay siege over to the red player's base and uh, destroying the whole red player's base at this point. Let's see. And I have a lot of resources banked up and let's see here, man, the red player is like, man turning my partner's base into a junkyard so yeah that's very bad indeed very dears from their yellow player okay good cooperation from the yellow and the red here so I, you gotta admit that there's like good cooperation from them okay and i'm gonna have to try and help them out okay my partner we have to focus on those uh, porcupines as they will be able to zone out my drag or my cyclones right those managed to destroy all those porcupines let's see three more remain okay 
Okay, but there's like a ton of Jaguars here, and my Cyclone count isn't really that high. Okay, so it will take from uh, it will take some time for me to dismantle all those Jaguars right there. Okay. Guys, my partner rebuilt his HQ way too soon as he just, you know, he knew that there's like a ton of Jaguars here that hasn't been destroyed yet. So he rebuilt his base very, very early. Hence, those Jaguars came back because they were still alive. Okay. And now, of course, the red player space are going to be forfeited due to the Vikings laying just outside you know, just his shore. <laughs> Okay, and then again, of course, my partner was somehow... <laughs> Man, okay. So that's a bit of a mistake right there. Meanwhile, what's going on with my base? Space system being built. Okay, I got some uh, anti-air right here. I got like four anti-air. Okay, and there's not really that much uh, dragonfly at this point the last time I scouted because I destroyed most of the dragonfly that are trying to get rid of our Vikings. Okay, so I'm gonna have to send my dragon or my cyclones over to the top right hand corner of the map to see if there will be any incoming attacks. Okay, there it goes. And I'm gonna have to try and scout the yellow player's base. Okay, space system is uh, 30 seconds or less than 40 seconds away from finishing. And there was that one alligator that was well positioned to deny my cyclone scout because my cyclone was badly boosted up okay now this red player is still here okay as you guys can see the reason as to why that red player is still there is because of my boost I'm not using enable strike boost instead I'm using a gold resource boost for me to save up the resources needed for me to have a space system or produce a space strike right? okay but here goes my cyclones and are going to try and clean up the red player's base because as he is right now, he is currently defenseless and he is trying to rebuild his base away from the shore. However, man, due to the narrow uh, land, uh, chunks of land here, the Vikings will be able to reach those buildings. Okay, and my Cyclones, if ever they're outside the range, can clearly destroy them. Because his base is currently defenseless. Alright, I've switched boost to Naval Strike, of course, to clean things up. I have Cyclone Scout there above that clip to see if there will be any pending attack coming my way. Okay, and here goes. Some, my uh, Cyclones are like forced by or targeting, focusing on that HQ that is being rebuilt because I don't want any uh, anti-air being built there. That would be troublesome as I don't have a lot of Cyclones here to deal a ton of damage instantly. And there goes. Naval Strike boost for the win. Mm -hmm. So far so good, we're just going to clean up the red player's space. And then, I'm actually going for space system. We have less than a minute and 20 seconds before the space strike is ready. Okay, and so, bam, cleaning up the power plant. This red guy is still here and are somehow, you know, like, trying to... Uh, maintain and still produce resources my partner is coming back into the game because there's nothing to oppose him coming back okay and still again we're gonna have to destroy the red player just a few more buildings right there just two more buildings and that's it gg for this red player okay and now i'm still producing the cyclones as there are no more threat of alligators on the ocean or on the navy side of the map and i'm going to try and use all my cyclones there to scout because i'm expecting the red yellow player to have a ton of anti-air which he does and i was also expecting those dragonflies okay so yeah that was a very informative scout level 5 hq so he can either go nuclear or just spam dragonfly on one avia factory Okay, but he may be able to add more Avia Factory later on, and his naval platforms are actually well positioned. Okay, I'm going to attack that those naval platforms with a space strike right there, because of course I would like to have my uh, Vikings be useful at the very least, destroying four of the platforms in the shipyard as well as some of the alligators that are positioned right there. I'm going to try and help out with my cyclones. I got like eight cyclones here, and of course, obviously, there's like more dragonflies than that of my cyclones. 
Now those uh, naval platforms are badly boosted up. Okay. And of course my second lines will lose due to the number game. They're outnumbered. Okay, some alligators still live to see another day. Okay, but I'm going to clean up the rest of those naval platforms. This will lessen the anti-air in case I may decide to attack using a cyclone. Okay, and again. Okay, so as much as possible, I'd like to somehow see whatever he is currently doing. There we go. So my Vikings are now going to get cleaned up with those alligators and dragonfly. Again, I'm reproducing the uh, space strike. As you guys can see, again, one, less than a minute and 20 seconds before the space strike is ready. Okay, I informed my partner uh, to go Delta because the Delta, um, given that uh, his base uh, state, the Delta would be the best solution versus those dragonflies. And he said that he's going Zeus for no reason. The red player is already out of the game. So going for a Zeus would be a very bad idea. I would highly recommend just Delta or simply Cyclone or Typhoons. And just defend until he makes a full comeback. Okay, again, Space Strike is ready. I'm going to aim at those juicy supply center powers power plant right there. Bam! Destroyed a ton of buildings right there. And hopefully I also managed to destroy a lot of units. Okay, now six cyclones here to scout, of course. And uh, let's see if he's going for a nuclear. Okay, I just disposed of that uh, construction yard. Ooh, there's like four avia factory around here. So he added four more or three more avia factory after I scouted, which is very, very clever. I like it. That's some good thinking right there. Okay. So again, another space strike being, uh, you know, cooking the space strike yet again. And I will be adding anti-air later on as the number of those, uh, as the number of those dragonflies as you guys see. <laughs> there's like a ton of them. Now there's like two special vehicle factories and I told my partner to somehow produce the typhoons but he's not producing anything. He's just going straight to Zeus. I don't understand. Typhoon Delta Bunker. Yeah. Those are the best solution versus that much dragonfly. However, given the time that he has from earlier, he did not make anything. Instead, level 3 vehicle factory. That's a lot of investment for a failed, uh, you know, for a bad army composition. So that's not recommended. Okay. Uh, yellow player is like trying desperately to destroy my space system or to somehow scout it, but was actually denied. But they managed to scout and see where the space system is being produced. Okay, here goes a ton of dragonfly and a very good concave there. Very nice uh, positioning from the yellow player. Okay, of course, obviously, he doesn't have a lot of typhoons, my partner. Okay, space strike. Bam! I love it. I just love that side, man. Okay. And so, dragonflies are now going to skip past my partner and are heading towards straight over to my base. I have some cyclones right there. But that's not going to be enough, as you guys can see. And I've used the wrong boost right there momentarily for just a few seconds. So I'm going to have to retreat. Alright, and so anti-air being placed. I'm no longer going to produce a space strike. Because of course, I know that those dragonflies will make it until till my uh, space system. Now as you guys can see, I've also, uh, you know, I did the trick of building a barracks to soak up the damage of those uh, dragonflies initially. All right, there goes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're onto my space system, but I can simply rebuild it, and he will not be able to rebuild or reproduce that many dragonfly <laughs> as fast as I can build the space system. So that's a major loss for him. Okay, I got like five cyclones here, and he has like five dragonfly that are burst up. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Avia attack boost. Okay. And are now going to attack this guy right here. Those dragonflies. We're going to have to finish them off. My cyclones are also bruised up. But his dragonflies are, you know, badly bruised up. Reinforcement around here. Okay, cleaning up the rest of those dragonflies. And now at this point, I'm not entirely sure what the yellow player is up to. But the red player is up to no good. So, in this scenario, I would recommend Torrents. 
bunkers and some assaults that can clearly get rid of those in case you don't have a good rocket tower or of course just a rocket tower will suffice and there's like plenty of grenadiers right there from the red player but that's not gonna do much okay again space system okay and he oh wow that's a lot of army right there okay so I have my cyclones help out and reduce the number of those grenadiers all right, and his army composition is that of Delta, Typhoon, and Azus, as well as some assaults. So that's a very good army composition versus what the uh, red player has. Okay, so yeah, just a bit of uh, chit chat right there. Okay, so yeah, he has typhoons around there. How many typhoons does he have? Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So wow, that's a lot of typhoons. But that was already too late, simply because that the dragonfly has already been rid of. <laughs> now this is actually my fault right there. I ignored those uh, alligators, causing me some headache, or actually not a headache, causing me some damage due to my mistake. Alright, so I ignored it, and pretty much those uh, alligators can destroy that side of the map, uh, their side of the map right there, but he's not going to be able to do anything. And at this point, I'll, uh, I'll again cancel the space strike. And of course, because those alligators can reach that space system of mine at that position. Okay, I'm trying to build another naval platform right there, but it was already too late. It was my mistake. So yeah, my bad. So yeah, nearing its completion, but I'm going to have to cancel it. Because, of course, you cannot launch it. I mean, the moment you, the moment it is ready, you can no longer cancel it. You can only launch it. We can only hope for that it launches before the space system or the space launcher is still alive or to survive until it's launched. So I'm not going to take that risk and lose a ton of resources. Okay, so yeah, again, there's like two more alligators, or actually two alligators right here. And I'm trying to somehow defend. Mm hmm. Managed to destroy my shipyard. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, my partner is like laying or cleaning up the red player which is man the tenacity of the red player man salute salute to you my friend okay again producing vikings here re just rebuilt the uh, space system away from the ocean so that those alligators will not be able to reach it all right so yeah i told my partner to just go 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 and charge and destroy whatever the red player has and at this point it's clear as day that it's already gg both players, uh, the red and yellow, did uh, actually did great. All right, my partner and I also had some mishaps right there, but man, <laughs> all right, that was good. An epic naval clash right there. I really love that epic naval scene. Okay, now if you guys like this video, be sure to of course smash the like button and of course subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to all notifications so that you will not miss an upload or stream from my channel all right so yeah thank you for watching have a great day and good luck with your battles yeah mm -hmm. let's see what this yellow player has we're just going to do some contracts right here at this point because i need one more poseidon to be produced or actually three poseidons to be produced at this point so i can finish my contract or one of my contracts at the least. Okay, and there goes that Viking I'm going to clean up those alligators. Ta da! And uh, obviously, the yellow player could not do anything because he did not rebuild his base, nor did he even want to try rebuilding it because I'm just going to space strike it anyway. So, yeah. There it goes. I'm going to launch the space system yet again at the yellow player's base but I managed to miss it so yeah jokes on you Tracy <laughs> yeah I launched it over there yeah my bad my bad okay so yeah we're just going to wait for this uh, battle to end so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it oh by the way do not forget to leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts into this video a highly, uh, I mean, a feedback would highly be appreciated. All right, so yeah, still um, keep in touch, guys. Oh, and a space system launch on my base. Let's see. Wow. 
just for the sake of me to you know see buildings destruction uh, even though it's my base so yeah nice job <laughs> a pat on the back victory victory bye now